They were young, brash, and relatively unknown. Four Saskatchewan men who had just taken up curling. The year was 1959, and the game wouldn't be the same. Curling was a different game in the 1950s. The ice was natural and unpredictable. Their brooms were heavy and made of straw. Scores were high, and it was a gentleman's game. The Richardson brothers from Regina took up curling late by Prairie standards. They were already out of high school when, on a whim, they joined a local curling club. Sam Richardson was not yet 20 years old. The very first year, we had matching sweaters and pants, and we always tried to look sharp and look like a curling team, even though we wouldn't be very good, for sure. Sam played second on the team, skipped by his older brother, Ernie. Third was cousin Arnold, and lead was another cousin, Wes. In 1955, the Briar came to Regina, and the Richardsons were in the stands. Saskatchewan had never won the Canadian championship, but the Campbell brothers from Avonlea changed that. Sam turned to his mother and said, we're going to play in the Briar someday. After that, we really got serious about the game. We went to every little town, little bonce bales, natural ice. Didn't matter, 30 below in the rink or outside the rink. And like I say, four years later, we went to the Briar. The upstart Richardsons were a long shot, but they left nothing to chance. They were systematic, aggressive, and above all, competitive. It paid off. In 1959, they won their first Briar. If you won a sweepstake, you wouldn't feel that good. Winning a Briar, you feel better than any sweepstake. One day after their victory at the Briar, the Richardsons were on their way to Scotland. 1959 was the first year for an international playoff. The best teams in Canada and Scotland would face each other on the ice. The Scots didn't know what hit them. In the first match, the Canadians played their aggressive game knocking out their opponent's rocks rather than placing their own rocks in the rings. We were sweeping it to hit and roll out and get the blank and, and you could hear the, the old Scotch fellows in the background say, oh, that's nigh curling, nigh curling, blank in the end. And then they ask us, why did you blank? And Ernie says, well, we blank because we try to score more than one. <laughs> we don't play for one. The Richardson rink hammered the Scots five games out of five. They returned to Regina to a hero's welcome. Three more times they went to the Briar and to Scotland. The only thing left now for Skip Richardson is the tricky raised takeout from the side. By 1963, they had a chance to become the only team to win the Briar and the Scotch Cup four times. They won. Their record is still untouched. Ernie Richardson is the only skip to win the Briar four times and the only skip name to the Order of Canada. We changed the game from a more of a draw game in 59 to a more of a hitting game, uh, more of a heavy sweeping game. You know, curling was always called the roaring game. And of course, when we had big sweep with big noise, and then you need a big voice to go above it. So we put the roar back into the roaring game. The Richardson's hitting game caught on. It was an aggressive, low scoring game, but it was also boring. Spectators wanted more action on the ice, more points. Three decades later, the rules were changed to limit takeouts and ensure that more rocks remained in play until the end of the game. For the CBC NewsHour, I'm Bill Wazer.